credible deterrence is the other side of the coin. Last night, I held a virtual meeting with President Biden, President Macron, Chancellor Scholz, President uh, Duda, uh, Prime Minister Draghi, uh, General Secretary uh, Stoltenberg, President Michel, and President von der Leyen. We agreed that we would respond in unison to any Russian attack on Ukraine. Yeah. In unison, by imposing coordinated and severe economic sanctions, heavier than anything we have done before against Russia. And we agreed on the necessity of finalising these measures as swiftly as possible in order to maximise their deterrent effect. We in the UK will not hesitate to toughen our national sanctions against Russia in response to whatever President Putin may do, and the House will soon hear more on this from my right honourable friend, the Foreign Secretary. We've already declassified compelling intelligence exposing Russian intent to install a puppet regime in Ukraine, and we will continue to disclose any Russian use of cyber attacks, false flag operations, or disinformation. I commend our NATO allies for the steps they've taken undertaking to protect the eastern flank of the alliance. Denmark is sending a frigate to the Baltic and deploying four F-16s to Lithuania to join NATO's long-standing air policing mission. France has expressed its readiness to send troops to Romania under NATO command. And the United States has raised the alert level of 8,500 combat troops preparing to deploy them in Europe at short notice. The British Army leads the NATO battle group in Estonia, and if Russia invades Ukraine, we would look to contribute to any new NATO deployments to protect our allies in Europe. In every contact with Russia, the UK and our allies have stressed our unity and our adherence to vital points of principle. We cannot bargain away the vision of a Europe whole and free that emerged in those amazing years from 1989 to 1991, healing the division of our continent by the Iron Curtain. We will not reopen that divide by agreeing to overturn the European security order because Russia has placed a gun to Ukraine's head. Yeah.